hammocks, under quilts, over quilts, the hammock setup itself I used. We went over all that, but now we need to go over what do I put over me? How do I keep myself protected from the elements? So, uh, well, hold on. First, because who doesn't carry a tape measure in their backpack when they're going to set up a hammock? So of course I put a tarp above my hammock and for that I used a coal cracker tarp made by Dutchware. It is a 10 by 10 Xenon tarp. Tie outs all along, cool coal cracker logo. It works absolutely perfect for this. Now the cool thing that I like most about a square tarp with a setup like this is that number one, I could put it in an A-frame style setup. That gives me a lot of protection throughout camp, throughout the day. If I don't think a storm's coming in, I get protection on both sides of me stretched out pretty well. But then with the square tarp, I can also turn it in a diamond fashion and I can run it that way. So if I know that it's gonna be really bad weather throughout the night, I can pack up my gear differently underneath me to protect it and then I can set it up in a diamond configuration. This is gonna give a lot more coverage out to each side of me and protect me just a little bit more from the weather. Also with this tarp, I use it when I ground camp. So it's really multi-purpose for me. So the only modification that I really make to my tarp that goes over my hammock itself is then on all four corners of that, I run some type of line. The reason for this is that when I fly my tarp up over my hammock, normally the ends aren't going to be able to touch the ground. So you're gonna need something there between your tent peg and your tarp. Now in past videos, I went over a ton of different options for this and I literally change this out all the time. Right now though, I have a daisy chain on here. So they are just bigger loops spread out every so often that I can just find which loop fits to the ground best and run it that way. Now that's pretty self-explanatory, but the next part of the setup is my ridge line, and that is in this bag. I carry a separate little bag with my tent pegs and my ridge line. It seems just to work a little bit better that way for me. So in my little bag, I carry my continuous ridge line. That again is from Dutch. I carry these tie outs. So these are elastic tie outs and these tie outs actually can go onto the chameleon hammock and it stretches it open. That way it is not closing in on, on you. And then I also carry some titanium tent pegs along with me. Um, these are just quick and easy um, to go with this setup. Now I know what a lot of you might be thinking, how is Dan, the bushcraft guy, not just running paracord across the top or thinking, well, I'm just gonna run paracord. Part of the reason why I went with this continuous ridge line was just because a lot of people asked me about the stuff and I wanted to get more educated myself on actually using it and see if it was a lot easier. It is a little bit more packable. So this is over 30 foot on this ridge line, so it's nice and big and it doesn't take up a lot of room and I just let it with my hammock gear and then I don't have to worry too much if I have paracord or not. Now, if you don't know much about a continuous ridge line, especially the way I have it set up, I'm gonna tell you that right now, but it is almost identical to using a bowline knot and running it around the tree and then going to the other side and using a trucker's hitch and tensioning it and doing all that stuff. Except there's a couple pieces of titanium on here that make life a little bit easier and really no knots required. Now on one end we have the titanium Dutch hook, so this is gonna take place of your bowline knot. As we go down the line, I have two soft shackles, which I'm gonna show you during the setup. These have prussics right here, and then this attaches to my tarp. Way down on the other end is something called a wasp, and this thing, made of titanium, doubles as our trucker's hitch. So first part of this setup, I take my small little Dutch clip right here and I bring the line around the tree and then I just hook it together. So that is going to hold it in place there, just like that. Really nice, really sturdy and good to go. Now at this point, I just walk the line across to the other tree. So with the other tree really quickly approaching, I'm going to take this wasp and I'm gonna position it about an arm's length from the tree. So now the trick with this wasp is that you are going to take the line that goes through it towards the tail. Okay, you're gonna take that and you're gonna wrap it around the back of the tail. So you can see how that wrapped around the back of the tail right there. What that's going to do when I pull this now is lock that in place. It's not gonna allow that wasp to slide up and down my line when I start to tension it. 
Okay, so this line from the front of the wasp now ran to the next tree. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that line that went around a tree and I'm gonna go on the head of that wasp. So I'm just gonna go right there. And what that's gonna do is that's gonna allow me to tension. So you can see the things flying away from me and that is how I add tension, okay? So I would pull this until it's tight. Once it's tight to where I need it, okay, then I just take my line and I use the two wings on the wasp, the back wing and the front wing, and just wrap around and I tried all different configurations, any work, and that locks that thing in place, and you are done. So you're not tying any knots, you're really, you're just using this as your tensioner, and then you're using them wings just to tighten it up. And now we move on to the soft shackle. This is how we attach our tarp loop to the line itself. So a soft shackle has a prussic here, so when I pull it, I can't move this, but I can push it and it moves very freely. So what we do is we take one end that is knotted and these are all pre-made. So you take that, you place it through the loop on your tarp and then come to the other side of the soft shackle. It's gonna look like a figure eight. What you can do is you can open that up. So you see the figure eight, we open that up and that gives us a loop to place our knot inside. Place our knot inside give it a little tug, it locks it in place. Now, I can adjust my tarp however I would need to in order to get the right tension on it. So, we could set it up like this. I can pull it this way, tighten it down. If I would need to loosen it, I can just push. Whatever I need to do, I can now get it set up with this soft shackle. And that is what I utilize to set up my tarp over my hammock. Now again, just like I said in earlier hammock videos, Tons of different options here. The reason that I use that continuous ridge line, and I don't have a ridge line built on the, that tarp itself, is for the simple fact that, again, I, I sleep on the ground with that sometimes, so I don't always use this configuration. Sometimes lean to, sometimes plow point, A frame, I mean, all different stuff. So it's way easier just to carry that ridge line in the tarp because there's a lot more options and different things I can do with it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. As always, check us out at coalcrackerbushcraft.com if you're interested in this tarp. We got it on there. I'll leave all the links below um, for all the Dutch's stuff that I use and my tarp and all that good stuff. So definitely check all that out. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. So until the next video, stay in the woods, stay dry, keep on hanging.